Hi guys, this is the uh, Adams Motor Part 2 and we're up and running. It's powered by two 12 volt batteries so we're sitting at about 24 volts right now and I didn't want to use this NICAD battery but that's all I had. 12 volts is way too slow. This motor needs at least 24 volts. And the circuit is the Bedini Bipolar Sequential Circuit and what it does is it allows a flip-flop polarity uh, to the coils because on this particular rotor I've got north and south magnets so there's a total of 12 poles and that's not ideal I would have rather had just all south or all north it would have been a lot easier but since I have the two polarities I had to use uh, this circuit here and this circuit flips the polarity backwards and forwards while it's running and it also has a bridge rectifier and what this is doing is it's actually allowing any extra power generated by the system to come back to the supply batteries. Yeah, so this, this circuit is actually charging the supply batteries so it allows a complete recovery of any extra energy that you're losing including radiant spikes. So the radiant spikes come through this bridge rectifier and the radiant spikes can be hundreds of volts and it will send those back to the batteries. Now if you have a really well designed system with conditioned batteries you can actually get a motor that runs forever if the batteries are able to accept radiant energy then the voltage spikes go through the bridge rectifier and they will stimulate the batteries even though conventional theory says there's not enough energy the batteries will charge up and that's how self-sustaining motors with batteries are done but you have to have special batteries they have to be charged over and over and over with radiant energy and I have never done that uh, but there has been replications and people have got these to self run so this is where we're at I'll show you the reed switches that I used okay so there's two reed switches reed switches are easier to use than other sensors they're not the best but they're just a simple on off switch and when the uh, magnets pass by it turns them on they're just a set of contacts that's all they are okay so I modified this circuit and a positive voltage is coming through the reed switch triggering the circuit to come on and that's what we have so not much to it by the way that motor there is an exercise bike motor and those coil cores are actually fan motors that guy right there you take a bandsaw you chop those up and you get these nice little uh, horseshoe shaped coils just like that and they're about 12, 12 ohms each so we've got about 36 ohms those are wired in series and they're just acting as one coil there's three of them and they're spaced at 120 degrees apart now I used plexiglass to hold the coils in it's non-magnetic stainless hardware and that's about it so if you wanted to use these fan motors they're about 50 cents at the scrapyard and you can do a lot with those okay well there it is if you have any advice or uh, any questions comments please uh, feel free to leave a comment thanks a lot for looking